Hi, Brain Tech here, where tech is made simple. So something that I mentioned yesterday with the recent optional update that rolled out for Windows 11, 24, and 25H2 was the new simplified listing for the recent updates. As you can see, looking very different to what we received previously, as you can see the longer listing versus the simpler listing. Now, just to let you know that Microsoft now has officially announced the rollout of the simplified naming format for Windows updates, which with Microsoft saying to make them clearer and more consistent for users, and the change affects multiple update types, including monthly security patches, .NET framework updates, as we can see, and even AI component releases. Now, according to Microsoft, it says that this update is designed primarily with the user in mind, quote unquote. The new titles, it says, drop unnecessary technical details such as platform architecture or date prefixes, focusing instead on readability. And then if we head to the announcement, yeah, they give us different examples. So this is what monthly or out-of-band security updates will look like. Monthly preview as I've just demonstrated, non-security updates, .NET Framework security updates, as I've just shown you, .NET Framework non-security updates, as I've also mentioned, driver updates, and AR component updates. So those are the different examples. Now, Microsoft says that these titles will appear across key areas, such as settings, Windows update, update history, and the Windows Release Health Dashboard page. Now, if you are using the Update Catalog online or Windows Server Update Services, Microsoft says you won't see much change there. So it will be the longer format still. And if we head back to that post, the title simplification applies to OS quality updates, monthly security and non-security updates, .NET framework, driver updates, AI component updates, and Visual Studio updates. And Microsoft says that it aims to improve readability, enhance accessibility, and reduce confusion for users and IT admins alike. It will also help OEMs, original equipment manufacturers, and partners who rely on predictable formatting for update integration. And Microsoft says that this is one of the first large-scale improvements to Windows Update naming. And those updates haven't been renamed in quite some time. So I was actually quite surprised to see this when I posted yesterday, as I mentioned briefly in that video. But nonetheless, I actually quite like the more simpler listing. I think this is just a bit of overkill. But nonetheless, that is official now. Simpler listings now in Windows Update for those different updates. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.